the quotes that changed his course. Read Genesis chapters 37 to 41 for the entire account. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. Also he made him a tunic of many colors. Genesis chapter 37 and verse 3. The first coat that Joseph received was the coat of favor that his father Jacob gifted him. This was an exotic multicolored coat that expressed Jacob's boundless love for Joseph, who was the son born in his old age. However, this coat became the cause for envy among his elder brothers, who not only hated him but also sold him into slavery. They used the same coat to deceive their father and made him believe that Joseph had been mauled by a wild animal. When Joseph reached Egypt, he ended up as a slave in the house of Potiphar, who was Pharaoh's official. Joseph was not alone, for God was with Joseph and made him a successful man. Potiphar was so pleased with Joseph that he made him the overseer of his entire household. However, Potiphar's wife was so infatuated with young and handsome Joseph that she hounded him to have an affair with her. Here are Joseph's words to her as recorded in Genesis chapter 37 and verse 9. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? When left in a quandary with Potiphar's wife, Joseph fled from her presence, leaving behind his coat in her hand. This was the second coat, a coat of fabrication that Potiphar's wife kept back with her to falsely accuse Joseph who landed up in prison for no fault of his. Even though Joseph landed up in prison, the Lord was with him and he got promoted to be the head over all other prisoners. In prison, Joseph interpreted the dreams for the butler and the baker, which were fulfilled accordingly. However, when the butler got restored to his position in the palace, he forgot all about Joseph for two long years. It was when Pharaoh had disturbing dreams that the butler remembered Joseph, who was called to interpret Pharaoh's dreams to him. The explanation so pleased Pharaoh that he made Joseph second in command. We read about this in Genesis chapter 41 verses 39 to 43. It was time for Joseph to receive his third coat, the coat of fame made of fine linen from Pharaoh himself. As Joseph rode in splendor on the second chariot behind Pharaoh, all the people of Egypt bowed their knee to him. There was, however, the fourth coat that Joseph wore all through his life. It was the coat of righteousness which covered him because the Lord was with Joseph. It was the presence of God in Joseph's life that caused him to prosper, enabled him to resist temptation to sin, raised him up, gave him grace to forgive his brothers, and helped him see everything from God's divine perspective. Nonetheless, our greatest example is Jesus, who too was favored by God and man. He also wore the purple robe of scorn, shame, and false allegations. He was condemned to death on a cross, died, and was buried. However, God the Father raised him up from the dead on the third day and exalted him to the highest place, gave him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth. Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 and 11. Jesus is coming again, this time in pomp and splendor with all the holy angels. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21 says it this way, He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. All of us may have worn these coats that Joseph wore at different points in our lives. The question is, have we put on the coat of righteousness that Jesus offers? If we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and receive the salvation that he offers, we too can be clothed with a robe of righteousness and lead lives that are totally pleasing to the Lord. Have a wonderful day.